let's go straight into our first topic I'm about to kuhusu elections za football in Kenya. And at the moment we have two governing bodies kuna KSF na kuna FKL. Okay? Now, as we all know, now this is not news to any of us. Kumekuwa na wrangles year in and year out in Kenya about football. Na elections were supposed to kuko in August, but then they've been pushed forward to September. And my first question is why do you think they keep pushing this election dates? Father and father back. First, um, if we have two governing bodies, it's not possible to have two bosses running the same thing. There'll be either duplication of resources or something, or uh, people will be fighting for power. Football in the Fakran and FIFA, as any in the whole world. Mambo na Kenya, Kungilia, football, Serikali Kungilia, football, Yuta, in a Tampa and Vingine. At the same time, tapata kuna watu wako pale power hungry. Asa waze. Ni watu wameka pale kwa mdamrefu, lakini they don't want to give up. Kwa na vijana wame toka chini, wanatika kusimama pia pale, wakubali. So I think shida ni serikali na FIFA. That's the, 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 the Kenyan way. They all need it. That's the Kenyan way. I think there's no clear policy for that thing. Because if there were some clear policy, will not have two bodies governing the same thing. Policy ya FIFA ni ya kwamba the government cannot interfere in football. Unakumkati leo wakati kulikuwa na that shooting, was it the Togo team, yeah? yeah? And the government said, oh, the player should come back. Wakakua, suspended. yeah, you remember, they were suspended. Because <coughs> the government haiko supposed to kuingilia football yeah. in any way. So unasema ya kwamba government kuingilia ilete poli, some clear policies, football in Kenya would work. Don't trust the government of Kenya. Kutoka kwa election, nye, mpaka kwa mpira manini. There's no way to can, we can trust our government. So let it watch at watch FIFA or any of small men who are born. Since we since to Japan get, come and pick a cure and the rest to watch FIFA Iran is of two sort. To come a kasuve na kina hati. Me ni ni balu na keep coffee. Si juwa mekuwa po yeye ina ndiya uta angalia standard ya football in Kenya. Do you mamla kani kona kumbi uta muya pesa? Kuna tu kanya muya mekuwa pali kasuve and the rest. Ona juu ile pesa ukuja pali. There's some funds FIFA out of the grounds and the rest. Ambao serikali ID au nyendo wanajua. Ndio inasemekana it's like 18 million. Lakini unapata vile inatumika matumizi yake atuelewi na mwezi wa jaja kuna mali mtawapeleka serikali iwezi. Kuna pesa kwa mismanage hapo sasa. Wanachua the moment watatoka hapo obvious hiyo sili itafichuka. So ili mtu aendelee kuvunika uchavu wake inapiti aendelee kukaa hapo kwa ofisi ndio sababu unaona hata saa zingine timu za Kenya hata tukicheza mpira na Somalia timu zile ziko na njaa ndwana unaona kuna bandiko mabao mimi ni mkenya hizi unaona sasa our football iko na problem kubwa sana umesema kitu very interesting ya kwamba Kenya tukicheza hata na the lowest of teams they beat us. Tunatangikwa. Remember currently we are number 133 kwa FIFA rankings. Eh? Tuko chini ya country yata kama Haiti. Tanzania, au wote, sisi tukoko chini. Mm. Na there's a FIFA official, anaitua Thierry Regan. Salikuwa nasema, it's such a shame. Kenya tunafaa kukua top 50, as in, that's where we are supposed to be. Lakini, tuko na ukua 133. So what kind of leader do you think tunaitagi pale kwa uh, football Kenya, that body ambo ita ina, inataka kwa established? This person must be selfless. Kwanza jaepele kwa hapo na greed. Secondly, you must be goal. There are some people who, when they get their mind into something, they achieve. And that is the kind of person we need in that post. Mm. Unaona kama tribalism na pia ufisadi, corruption, it influence this upcoming elections of football. That one definitely, yes. Just like in our general elections, any time we are about to have general elections, we have our own problems. Now it's sugar, before it was maize, it was education, it was what? So there are all these rumbles that come in between. Okay, sawa sawa. Tutendelea na hii mada very shortly. Kwa sasa, wacha tu watch a small insert to metengeneza. Nikiwa na maelezo zaidi. These elections were supposed to have taken place almost three months ago. And more so recently, they were supposed to take about on 13th of August. But due to unforeseen circumstances, the election has not taken place. Even as I'm addressing you talking now, the date for election has not yet been confirmed. But the Minister for Sports, Catch, uh, youth, uh, youth Affairs and Sports has given 10th of uh, September as a deadline. You see, the future of this country is, uh, is a young man. And when it talks about the enhanced capacity now, our, uh, our young men are not enjoying that f 
fruit of developing their talents and earning their incomes. Once the elections are done, the team that is going to be elected come the scheduled day, it has got a very heavy task because you see one, the game has collapsed. It is to, re to, to reorganize and re revitalize the existing systems in terms of the clubs, develop the talents, so that at least we can be able to talk some, uh, we, we can have something to talk about. If we have to develop soccer in this particular country, the talent has to start in primary schools. Then we talk about, about primary schools, then we go to secondary schools, then colleges. Then look about what we are talking about, empowerment centers. This empowerment center can only be active if the football is revitalized. So we need somebody who has got the heart. Football attack, but we also need somebody who has got some knowledge concerning the soccer technically, but also educated a little bit. That way, you'll be able to to do something for this country. Okay, to Angalia, the, the, the candidates who've uh, been cleared to run for the post of chairmanship, eh? uh, to Kona Extreme Sports Chief uh, Executive Officer Hussein Mohammed, uh, to Kona F FKL uh, Chairman Mohammed Hatimi, former KFF Secretary General Sami Joel Obingo. Tukona na Frederica Witch, na others ni KFF Senior Vice Chairman, Tweha Mbarak, Gormahia Chairman, Ambrose Rachier, na Suolwodi Ladies Sports Association Director Elizabeth Shako, who's the only woman. Kiangalea hizi jina za candidates ambazo wako hapa. Are you satisfied? Do you think and wala to wako fit to run for that post? Rachier anaweza kuwa sawa, huyo jamu wa goro. Ukiangalea kama saa hii, mpira ya Kenya ilikuwa mekufa. Nani ele mshabole ya Kenya? ni rachi ya yani gormaya ndio mefanya tuanze kufollow ile tuamshe ile boletu ya kitambo hiyo ndio imeamsha sasa hii ligi napata afc watu wanaenda study sio ni kama zitakuwa fair not unless kuwekwe zile checks karibu sana za kuangalia kwa watu hawa tumie election vibaya so the reason why maybe hamjakom ki follow football in kenya ni kwa sababu ya standard ya football in kenya exactly. ama ni eh huh? exactly mm. kwa sababu hata ukiangalia yenyewe football ya kenya Talk of the goal, Mahia, talk of the, any other team that is popular in Kenya. You compare it for, uh, with the Premier League or something like that. Ni kama kucheza wanacheza tu field. Unajua hile michezo tu ya watoto. Ya shude, unaona. You cannot compare. Unaona kama ita change anything? You chaguzi? I can only wish whoever is going to get that uh, seat eh, is going to help. He's a young man who is a man who is a man That guy, who I believe, at a lack of sack, he is a man who 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 is a kila wakati basi tu, for a change basi si mnaona kama ni wakati tuweke a lady at the helm hapo juu it will not help at all <laughs> <laughs> why, why? the first thing is public vetting public vetting can help a lot because that person will be uh, will be interrogated and will be asked what do you what do you do for the kid, for, for the football for, uh, the federation of Kenya we believe ladies can deliver and they <laughs> said as i said from the beginning <laughs> honestly <laughs> ladies when they say their mind in doing something they do it and they get it i believe if we put a lady there at least and for a change we need a change is it that the change we need that lady but there. if it's not that about any the uh, she can't go through but if the public threaten she can Sisi hapa mambo huko tukianza umeuliza hata hawa ladies wako hapa. Ulisikia kila mmoja akianza kuongea nasema mimi am not a fan of football. Sisi kuna hawa kama kina Elizabeth Shako ambao they are very involved eh. Bas kama they are really gifted in that. Tungeona timu ya wanawake inasakata football kabisa inaenda kwa tena huko Uganda sio unajua ile sita tuko nayo za hizi ni ile kwa mama wamesikia hii hii ya tat ambayo iko kwa constitution eti 130 iwe wanawake sasa kila mahali hata mtu ana qualification akisikia kuna kitu anaenda anasema waje nisimame hapo nisipochaguliwa nipeleke kesi kodi nisema ile 130 our kids are talented, our, our, our people are talented, yeah? So the problem is management. Let's be specific, it's management level. And therefore that's what we, we can get a lady there, isn't it? And she'll manage well. If you go to the in first, you'll see the power of a woman. But at this point, not in football. 
Why? <laughs> because football is dominant, is a male affair. And oh, the most appropriate you. person to manage is definitely a man. I say to my fellow women, wake up. Let's get it. It's ours. Anything they can do, we can do. Yes. <laughs> and we will. And guys, if you want to see change in Kenyan football, <laughs> but they have their daughters. daughters. <laughs> Unless this game of uh, red is called, is it not for you? Wana Luciana Mfiel. Mbona aduja yona wakienda kukontend anywhere out of Kenya waenda huko inji. Wawe na clubs. See the management. See the management, yes. Honestly, kwa kwa nini mwana muke aja kontend? Aja ya si mama kontend for that? Nowadays there is gender equality. For Shako, only Mwanzo. At least as mama yapa jari bu jari bu yani. Like I see why. I see why. I initiate team ya wana wake. I manage to own a kipanda iki chalasa Uganda yenda uko China. Mari kunaisi nini? Tumeone <laughs> 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 young talents wakuko hayo ndo maoni ya watu hapo kwa matatu kwa sasa tunaenda kwa streets for comments from there then we'll be right back matatu hiyo leo tuni vile naenda kupostponiwa sisi kama wachezaji ama makoch tunaumia mtaani sana kwa sababu unapata kama saa hii hakuna ligi yote inaendelea juu hakuna game inaendelea juu hii election zao hizi hakuna kitu tunapata kwa ball inatuumiza sisi kama wachezaji juu kama hakuna kitu tunacheza kama bola itezwi hakuna vile utapata allowance when a group has no no one to lead so that means it is stagnant there is there is, a, there is no way anya hii dile ya election za football ina affect mpira wa Kenya juu kama si club yangu sahii hawezi participate kwa league juu tujui ni league gani poa ni gani haiko sawa matatu na hayo ndo maoni ya watu kwa streets we are taking a short break now on matatu we'll be right back ukitaka sikika njo kwetu wazee kwa vijana sema kitu sema kitu matatu